And this is an interesting old 94. It's a 26 inch round barrel. Round barrels seem to be more common in Canada. Not Octagons don't really seem to have been that popular here. It's a 1927 vintage. That rear sight I'm almost certain is off of a Marlin 1893. It's not a Winchester rear sight. And the front sight, uh, it's really well made, but it's made out of brass. I, I don't really know what to say about that. We have has the later style markings, nickel steel, 30 WCF, the model 94 where they Basically, just took the 18 out of the die, so it didn't say 1894. The forearm almost looks like it's almost a fancier grade of wood than you usually see on these. But what's really unusual about this one is that it has almost the extra screw. It has a trap door in the butt plate, just like the old 73s. And I know everybody's going to say, Oh, somebody put a 73 bat on it. Me, me, me. But no, that's not. This is actually, that matches the rifle. It's an actual factory add-on. And that was actually a fairly expensive option at that time. Which I believe actually the 26-inch barrel itself is a special order by 1927. Because I've only seen a couple of other rifles of this vintage. And uh, they were 24 inch. If somebody who knows more than I can comment on this, but I believe for a period the 26 inch rifle was no longer standard and the 24 inch was standard for the last few years that they made them. So this, this is actually really late for a 26 inch rifle. That's, uh, it's in great shape. I've, used it a lot. I've killed a, a few deer with it over the years. A few raccoons. Carried it for a bear defense. It's 100% uh, reliable like all 94s are. It's very accurate with that long barrel as well. You know, I remember one time I actually shot a wasp nest out of a tree with it that was uh, near the house. They were being a little bit annoying, so I had to get rid of them. But yeah, she's definitely seen some use. It's an interesting old rifle for sure.